All right, everybody, it's me, Gregory Manorino. It is Sunday, May 12th, 2019. Very unusual for me to do two videos over a weekend, but these are unusual times. I want to clarify a few things, and I want to offer something out here that no one is hearing about, no one is talking about, nobody. So this is a first for all of you. I am certain of it. So look, let's talk about the current situation where we are and a solution to it, or at least a possible one. It will not be easy, but it will. It really could work. And the president, if he were to do this, find a way to do this, he could dictate terms, dictate terms to China with regard to this escalating trade war. And it is escalating. Before I get there, let's talk about how it is escalating. So we understand that the president um, now instituted his alternative deal. His alternative deal was to do more of the same thing. That is, raise tariffs on China uh, and increase taxes. It didn't work the first time he tried this. Why he would believe it's going to work now is beyond me. And, and this goes back to something I just said in the last video. Um, he needs a new plan. Now, there are some who believe that I am saying the president should do nothing. The U.S. should sit back and do nothing. Uh, these are the individual with selective hearing. I understand there is a faction out there. Uh, look, maybe the low IQ individuals. I'm not sure what their situation is. I never said that we should do nothing. I said the uh, president simply needs a new plan. Again, why he would expect to do more of the same and get a different outcome is, is frankly not smart. And I know people are going to get offended by that because they think the president is the smartest guy in the room. Well, we know about the smartest guys in the room. You remember Enron? Yeah. That didn't end too well either. So all this guy is saying that the president needs a new plan. Um, and before I get to the new plan and something that would really work here, Let's talk about the rhetoric, because it's important to understand. On Friday, the president said there was no rush to institute uh, a, a real deal with China because he has this alternative deal. Now, 180 on this. Now he's saying China needs to act now. To me, that's a sign of weakness. Again, he's doing the same thing and expecting a different outcome. Now. With that said, let's talk about something that would actually work here. Um, maybe it, it comes down to the president is getting bad advice. I have said this before. I think the president is surrounded by imbeciles. I really do. They can't think outside the box. They want to try the same thing over and over again and get a different outcome. It's not going to happen. I mean, you've got to really be out, out of your mind to believe that will work. There is one thing that will work. And again, if the president could find a way to do it, he could dictate dictate terms um, that would be more beneficial to the United States. Although I do believe it should be balanced, no doubt about it. Here's what he should do. What do we know? It always comes down to what we know. We know that China holds vast, I cannot under under stress that word, vast amounts of U.S. debt. They own vast amounts of U.S. currency. Why does China hold the things, hold vast amounts of U.S. debt and vast amount of U.S. currency reserves? Why? Because they like us so much? Because they think it's just a great investment? We already know that their investments are losing money here. Uh, if they're holding government debt, they too, any entity that is holding a government debt unit is earning a negative return. So China is not holding our debt because they like us so much. They're not holding our dollar reserves or vast amounts of U.S. dollar reserves because they like us so much. No. China acquires these things because they can use it as leverage against us here in the United States. Our debt is a terrible liability. I cannot stress that again. Now, if the president would get together with, I, honestly, no one that's in his cabinet right now. He needs new people, and I will volunteer my services to the president. I want the man to be successful. 
There are some people out here that think I, I don't like the president. I don't like the lies. All right? I don't like... They all lie. And I hate it, and I did the same thing to President Obama. I beat him over the head repeatedly because I couldn't stand him either. I can't stand these politicians that lie to us. This guy, epic liar. We, there is no way around it. Very hard to argue it. Okay, but with that said, let's put that aside. The president needs to surround himself with people that can actually think outside the box and are not telling him to do the same things over and over again and expect a different outcome. So we understand that China holds vast amounts of U.S. debt. China owns vast amounts of U.S. dollar reserves. If the president got together with a bunch of thinkers, outside the box thinkers, and found a way to weaponize the debt that they're holding and the U.S. dollar reserves that they're holding without hurting us here, it's not, it wouldn't be easy for him to do this. Again, nothing is easy that's worthwhile. But if he could do this, China would literally fall to their knees uh, and the president could dictate terms. That's the truth. But trying the same thing again in a greater amount and expect a different outcome is frankly asinine. I don't know another way to put it, but again, the prison is surrounded by mental midgets, in my opinion. He needs people that can actually think. And he's getting bad advice. He's getting bad advice. So, Mr. President, if this makes it to you, and I hope all of you share this video, maybe it will, find a way to weaponize the vast amounts of U.S. debt that China is holding. Find a way to weaponize the vast amounts of dollar reserves, U.S. dollar reserves that China is holding, and you, Mr. President, can dictate terms. Okay. With that said, Mr. President, uh, I've asked you before, contact me, and maybe you can kick out some of these imbeciles on your, your cabinet or whoever you're talking to, because they are leading you astray. Everyone, please share this video. Um, I will place a link in the description of this video to a post I put out earlier, which kind of goes over this. If you want to read that, share that too. Send it to the president. I love all of you, and I'll see you tomorrow morning.